What's up family, my name is Trail, and the world is going through a lot of turmoil right now. From previous constitutions being changed, to the war in Ukraine, to the possibility of going through another recession, to the notion of Congress refusing to send a fourth stimulus check. And as I stated, there is a lot going on right now. And most Americans are really going through some challenging times. As gas prices continue to surge, food prices up 50%, and lawmakers in Congress continue to fight for themselves instead of fighting for the American people. But surprisingly, I do have a bit of good news to share with you today. We have a new calling for some $600 stimulus payments for low-income families. This could provide one state with their own stimulus relief aid to its residents. Also, we are on the verge of another recession. And if so, will this recession include another stimulus check? I have the details around this and what it can economists are suggesting to happen. But before we get started, I want to remind you that on this channel, we cover everything from what's going on around the world with the stock market, with the war in Ukraine, as well as multiple daily news stories around the world. So if you are interested in any of these topics today and you want to be a part of this channel, be so kind. Go ahead and subscribe. It's totally free. And if you end up liking today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. All right, guys, real quick, I wanted to remind you about that promotion with Chime Bank where you can receive a free $100 in a couple of weeks. Chime Bank is still offering new customers free $100 if you sign up using a referral code and then setting up a direct deposit up to $200. Now, once that $200 is deposited into your account, they will immediately deposit an additional $100. Yes, guys, I actually did this and it is legit so I want to share it with you today because this is a way to get some free money so if you have income and you want to receive this free $100 sign up today using the link down below and then after you sign up and receive your money share it with your family and friends as well so they can benefit from this particular bonus offer so you can get free $100 that link will be down below well guys there was a little bit of tragic news that happened yesterday yes an Amtrak train ended up derailing in the state of Missouri and three people ended up dying from this. Now it does say that at least three people died and multiple were actually injured after an Amtrak train en route from Los Angeles, California to Chicago derailed in Minden, Missouri on Monday afternoon. Now roughly 243 passengers and 12 crew members were aboard the train when it derailed and there are early reports of injuries, though the railway company did not specify how many people were actually wounded. Now, the reason for this derailing of this Amtrak train was that there was an actual truck on the track in which that particular individual ended up losing his life as well because the train actually rammed into that particular truck. So again, guys, just wanted to share that with you so that you guys can go ahead and lift those prayers up and pray for those individual families as well as those individuals that were injured from this train wreck. We We'll continue to keep them in our prayers in the meantime. Moving on, guys. Hey, the billionaire Mark Cuban, who owns the Dallas Mavericks, is reacting to some praise that he received because of the new company or the pharmacy that he actually created. Yes, I told you guys a couple of months ago that Mark Cuban started this pharmacy to offer some of the generic drugs, prescription drugs, to low-income families for a cheaper rate than getting it from either Walgreens or Kroger's or different places like that. And Mark Cuban said in a statement, he said that, look, we are just getting started. And yes, for those of you who don't remember, yes, Mark Cuban started this online pharmacy claiming to offer lower prescription drug prices. And yes, guys, in a recent report that was published said that Medicare could save around $3.6 billion per year if it purchased drugs through Mark Cuban's pharmacy. And yes, if Medicare purchased generic drugs in the maximum quantity supplied by the MCC PDC, it could have saved around $3.6 billion. Yes, it said this in this particular report and it was actually published to the Dallas Morning News. Yes, guys, on Twitter, Mark Cuban said that the company does not spend a nickel on advertising and 
it is completely relying on word of mouth. This also allows us the price at such low prices, so all help is welcome from everyone and anyone, Mark Cuban wrote in a statement. And yes, even Kim Kardashian, she sent out a tweet or retweeted this particular tweet right here that says, this is probably the most amazing thing ever. Congrats, Mark Cuban. This is saving so many people's lives. So yeah, guys, I just want to remind you that if you do partake in some generic drugs, you might want to go ahead and Google Mark Cuban's pharmacy to see if they actually carry your drugs because you could save a little bit of money in the process, especially those individuals in Social Security, those individuals on Medicare, any anybody at all that has to take medication on a regular basis. You want to go ahead and check out this Mark Cuban's pharmacy just to see how their prices compare to where you normally get your prescription drugs filled. You could be saving a lot of money. And according to this, if everyone did it, they could be saving around $3.6 billion. Moving on, guys. Hey, racial justice organizations are calling to reinstate the enhanced child tax credit. This is amazing, guys. This was a great benefit that Americans saw in the year of 2021 because it actually prevented a lot of people from staying in or below the poverty level. So yes, guys, the enhanced child tax credit was a huge benefit for America. And now now, these particular organizations are calling for an option to reinstate the child tax credit once again, saying that this really helped a lot of low income families. So, yes, guys, it says that bringing back the enhanced child tax credit with monthly checks would help lift millions of children out of poverty at a time when their families are struggling with the increased prices from inflation and economic uncertainty. That's why a group of more than 40 such groups, including uh, Unidas US, the NAACP, the Economic Security Project, and many, many more sent a letter advocating the reinstatement of the enhanced tax credit to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Now, in this letter, the groups noted the impact that the ending of the enhanced credit had on families, low-income families, and especially families of color when it actually expired at the end of last year. But the impact on the end of the monthly CTC payments has been particularly profound and painful for communities of color. But anyways, guys, these particular groups, I believe 40 different groups, are calling on Congress, calling on lawmakers, calling on Senator Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to reinstate the child tax credit, to fight for the low-income families in this country, saying that they really benefited from this program. And I will say, guys, yes, it is in fact those individuals who fit the description of low income as well as moderate income families really benefited from this child tax credit. It really helped their families out in need when they desperately needed it during the pandemic season. And they could really use it right now as we are facing even more uncertainty in this country. So again, guys, will you continue to fight for the child tax credit to be reinstated? Call your lawmakers, call on your governors in your local states, guys, and urge them to call on Congress to reinstate this once again. It is a huge benefit for multiple low-income families in this country. But last but not least, guys, hey, are we headed towards another recession? And how likely is stimulus checks going to be involved if we do involve with another recession? Well, we have word from our economics and they are saying exactly what they believe will happen. So far, nearly four in five voters were in support of direct payments to American families and Democrats and Republicans alike rallied behind the policy, an increasingly rare sight in Washington. Now still, the checks were not without controversy. Among the criticism was that there were too many rounds of payments so far that they should have been better targeted to financially struggling Americans and that they cash led at least in part to runaway inflation we are now seeing in this country. And I will agree with that, guys. Some individuals who really didn't need a stimulus check still receive one for them and their families. But anyways, guys, this talks about these economists are saying that, look, 
we believe that there is going to be a recession coming forward and that could happen as early as 2023 but in addition to that guys they are saying that we can expect stimulus checks to be used once again according to the policy consultant and former federal reserve economics saying that look the stimulus checks they work they work heavenly especially for those that are struggling and yes guys they are saying right here that stimulus checks aren't a new recession tool however in economic downturns the u.s government has a number of levers it can pull to keep families spending and shielded from the most dire situations and continued spending is key to this economy because if people's buying slows down or dries up companies respond to lowering profits by laying off even more workers which only deepens and prolongs the hard times yes guys relief strategies include enhancing unemployment benefits boosting food stamps temporary slashing taxes and sending out stimulus checks so yes guys this right here this shows a graphic of how americans spent their three rounds of pandemic stimulus checks now you can see right here in the dark blue first stimulus check in the lighter blue second stimulus check and the third stimulus check is in the aqua color and you can see guys majority of those individuals spent majority of their stimulus relief aid on food secondly they spent it on utilities thirdly they spent it on household goods and personal care products uh, fourth paying off debt number five paying their rent off just to have a place to live number six vehicle payments number seven paying it on their mortgage again having a place to live and then lastly we have clothes savings and investments household electronics others recreational goods and for charity which is very shocking you st you spent your stimulus checks on charity that means you didn't need stimulus checks in the get-go so again guys this is going on from economics saying that if we do have a recession I guarantee that there will be another form of stimulus checks. And what do you know, guys? We have another article about stimulus checks. And because particularly in this particular state of Oregon, they are saying that more than 230,000 lower income households are going to receive $600 stimulus payments. Now it says that, look, a tax credit that is aimed at giving a tax break to people with low to moderate incomes is also giving eligible Oregon several hundred dollars over the next week or so. If you are qualified for an earned income tax credit on your 2020 taxes and you were living in Oregon at the time, you might want to watch your bank account or the mailbox a little bit extra closely in the coming days. Thanks to a state law passed earlier this year, lower income Oregon households that received the tax credit in 2020 will soon get $600 by direct deposit or a mail check check. Now, the Oregon Department of Revenue estimates that 236,000 qualified households should receive payments in about a week or so. All direct deposits will be made and checks will be mailed out by July the 1st of this year, which is this weekend, guys, according to the Department of Revenue. And in passing the House Bill 4157, Oregon lawmakers mandated that the money be paid out by the end of July. So you will be receiving the $600 payments by the end of next month, guys. This is some awesome news. And again, like I said, to qualify for the credit taxpayers have to fit within certain income limits for instance a family with two children would have to earn no more than fifty three thousand dollars annually according to the oregon bureau of labor and industries but again guys hey i will also link this article down below so that you can read more of the eligibility requirements for those of you who lived in oregon and you could be on the verge of receiving a six hundred dollar direct stimulus payment in the mail or by direct deposit. But anyways, guys, hey, I hope all of this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, guys, hey, that's all we have for you today. But if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. And I hope to see you on the next video.